This is a whole pineapple. And I know when you go to the store, you think to yourself, I have absolutely no idea how to cut that. And it sure is a lot easier to buy a pre-packaged, pre-cut pineapple. A couple of reasons why you don't want to buy a pre-packaged one. One, it's in plastic containers, so that's not great for the environment. Number two, it costs more. This is about $4.99 for a pre-cut one. For one that's whole, it's $2.99. And the third thing is you really don't know when this was cut. So it could be kind of overripe or not so fresh when you finally open this container. The good news, it's actually relatively easy to cut a fresh pineapple. You need a sharp knife and a cutting board. And you want to cut about an inch down from the top. Cut off a little bit on the bottom. And then the next step is you want to cut all the way along the entire edge of the pineapple and remove the outer tough skin. Now you've got these little eyes using a little melon ball scoop. It's nice to remove them. You just take it and twist it out. We have to take out the core that's in the middle. And what I like to do is quarter it. This is the tough core, and you just want to slice it all the way out. And then you can just cut it up into wedges. In just a matter of minutes, I've taken a whole pineapple and I've cut it up fresh myself. And this has me inspired and thinking, how about I make a really delicious hot pineapple strudel? Flaky, doughy, and fresh out of the oven. We're gonna put in our cut up fresh pineapple. And I'm gonna add two more ingredients, one cup of brown sugar, and we're gonna do half a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is our antioxidant superstar. So we're gonna cook this for 20 minutes on a medium to high heat. And you can see how much it's cooked down into a beautiful mixture. Take it off the heat. While it's cooling, we'll get our actual strudel ready. You really could make your own bread dough, but if you're in a rush, there is no shame in going to the supermarket and getting pre-made bread dough. I've taken one big ball of dough that you buy in a bag and I've cut it in half, and one half of this will actually create one giant piece of pastry. And one thing that I like to do is just take a piece of parchment paper, take a little bit of flour, and just lightly dust. We're gonna take one half of our dough. You can see it's sticky. Roll it out to about a quarter inch in thickness. And I'll take a little bit more flour and sort of dust. You want this sort of be long and oval in shape. And then with a paring knife, we're gonna create little strips along the sides because we're gonna braid it. Now that our dough is ready, we have to take our filling and put it on the inside. We're not putting the syrup in the dough. We just want the golden pieces of fruit. Take a slotted spoon. If there's any leftover, it's kind of fantastic as a jam. Spread on toast over some vanilla ice cream. And so what I'll do is I'll take our little strips. I'm gonna fold it over. Pinch everything together as you're going along. And then at the ends, I just like to tuck it in take a dish towel and cover it. Let this rest and rise for an hour. This is one I made earlier. And if you want that glossy, beautiful finish on the outside, you could do a really simple egg wash. It's just one egg, a tiny bit of water, about a teaspoon. And you're just gonna beat it up. Use your fork to drizzle it on. Just gently rub the whole outside with your egg wash. After touching a raw ingredient like eggs, you gotta wash your hands. And what we're gonna do with our finished strudel, it's gonna go into a hot oven that's been set at 375 degrees. And in just about 25 minutes, out will come a flaky golden brown pineapple strudel. Look at this. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? You can see this little pocket of happiness right here caramelized pineapples. That beautiful bread dough is now sort of soaking in all those juices. I gotta give it a try. Mmm. The bread gives it some body. The pineapple, they're like little jewels inside. And that brown sugar caramel mixture with the cinnamon is so incredibly amazing. It's just a few simple ingredients and made into what I think is a beautiful homemade dessert. 
breakfast treat or snack any time of the day.